When my company updated to Windows 8.1, I wondered how I would access all of my favorite commands and features. But after only a short time navigating the interface, I realized that all of my favorite functions are still here and better than ever, especially with the ability to use touch, mouse, or keyboard to accomplish my everyday tasks. Let me show you what I mean. I'll begin on the start screen. Here, I have access to all my favorite apps, people, and folders by simply swiping across the screen. Or I scroll with my mouse. Many of the tiles give me live updates, such as my latest emails, my appointments for the day, and the local weather. As you can see, my app tiles come in several different sizes, so I can create an efficient experience when grouping my apps. The larger tiles give me a rich canvas to see live updates, and the smaller tiles allow me to group my most used apps close together. Because I can mix and match tile sizes, I can easily group my apps in a way that works best for me. I'll go over customizing the start screen in a separate video. In the upper right corner of my start screen, I have access to the search button and the power button. I use search several times throughout the day to find information on my device and on the web. If the power button is available on my device, I can use it to quickly put my device into sleep mode. To access a list of all apps on my device, I simply click this down arrow or I swipe up on the start screen. Here, I can easily sort the apps by name, by date installed, by most used, and by category. From here, I'll open my weather app with a simple tap or click. In this and other apps, I can personalize my experience by opening the app commands. I swipe down from the top edge or up from the bottom edge of the screen, or I right-click the app. Here, I can switch between places, see the latest weather maps, and much more. In an open app, or from the start screen, I can access my taskbar by moving my mouse pointer to the bottom of the screen. The taskbar gives me easy access to my apps and the start button, which takes me back to the start screen. I can also return to my start screen by pressing the Windows key or by clicking the start button in the lower left corner of the screen. When I open another app, I can easily get back to my previously used app by swiping in from the left edge of the screen or by clicking the upper left corner of the screen. If I want to see two or more apps at once, I simply swipe in from the left edge and I drag my second app to the left or right edge until it snaps into place. Now I can adjust and resize each app window as I see fit. I can view all of my open apps by simply swiping in from the left edge of the screen and back out again. Or with my mouse, I point to the upper left corner of the screen and then move the pointer down. If I right-click an app, I see options to open or close it. I can close any app by swiping it down from the top edge to the bottom edge of the screen. With my mouse, I can close an app simply by moving my mouse pointer to the top edge of the screen and clicking the Close button. Because I frequently use the desktop at work, I have the desktop pinned right here on the Start screen where I can quickly access it. And this is my familiar desktop complete with my taskbar and all of my favorite apps. I also have the option to boot to desktop directly if I want. I'll cover this option in a separate video. When I need to return to the Start screen, I simply click the Start button on the taskbar. With Windows 8.1, I can put what matters most right on my Start screen and get instant access to my projects, apps, sites, and more. Now I can do what I want, the way I want, and really make it my own.